Do you wonder how to make a YouTube banner in Photoshop? My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is the Touchpad tutorial, I'll show you how to do it without a template. But if you want to save time, the subscription on Envato Elements gives you access to millions of creative assets, including this banner, thumbnail, and end screen template for all your YouTube needs. If you're interested, you'll find the link in the description. Let's move on to the tutorial now. Create a new file using these exact dimensions. Change the background color to this shade of gray. Go to File, Place Embedded, and select this image. Resize the image to fill the canvas, then right click on the layer and select Rasterize Layer. Press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate the photo. Now add a layer mask to the layer. Take the Gradient tool, press D to reset the swatches, and select Radial Gradient. Then fill the layer mask with this gradient. Set the opacity to 80%. Let's create the boxes to place the stock images. Draw a rectangle in any place with the Rectangle tool in the Shape mode. Set the stroke thickness to 20 pixels and its color to white. The fill can be any color. Align the stroke to the inside. Double-click the rectangle layer and add a drop shadow. Click Reset to default, then set the distance to 12 pixels and the size to 50 pixels. Place another image into the file. Move it over the rectangle and resize it to fill it, then rasterize and desaturate it. Right-click the new layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Draw another rectangle around the frame with a white stroke one pixel thick with no fill. Select these three layers and align their horizontal and vertical centers. Then group them with Ctrl G. Duplicate the group three times with Ctrl J. Now put a different photo inside each group. Remember to rasterize and desaturate them and to resize them to fill the frame. Then duplicate two of them to have six groups total. Rotate the groups with Ctrl T and arrange them on both sides of the canvas. Feel free to use a different arrangement than mine and move the layers up and down the stack to create a proper overlapping. Let's add some text now. Take the Type tool and type TRAVEL CITY in all caps. Make city bold and set the size to 105 pixels. Select the text and the background layer, then align their vertical and horizontal centers. Draw a rectangle around the text with no fill and a white stroke 5 pixels thick. Then use the rectangular marquee tool to select the right upper corner of the rectangle. Add a layer mask, then invert it with Ctrl I. Create a new layer and take the line tool. Set the thickness of the stroke to 10 pixels, align it to the center, and draw a vertical line in the corner. Then duplicate it and rotate it 90 degrees. Now we 
are going to create a vignette. Press D to reset the swatches, then add a gradient adjustment layer. Make it radial, check reverse, and set the scale to 450. Now feel free to adjust the arrangement of the elements to create the effect you like the most. And that would be all! If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe! Also, click the bell icon to be notified of new videos on the Envato Tats Plus channel. This was Monika Zagrubelna for Envato Tats Plus. Thanks for watching!